Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so let's see what's going on for you this week, Scorpio. Alright, what's going on for Scorpio this week? Three of Cups, okay, so um, some social activities, you could be dating, you could be getting out there, you could be talking to your girlfriends or your guy friends, um, maybe even siblings, neighbors, uh, people close to you in your community. Um, you could just be exchanging ideas also, trying to create new uh, opportunities with other people too here. Uh, once again, getting out there to social events, you could be networking here. Or just dating altogether. Um, you be dating more than one person too here, going on dates. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio this week. The Queen of Swords. So you got a um, someone here who's very serious, serious about what they engage in and what they don't engage in. You get someone who wants to know. They want to know. Uh, they want answers. They want the truth, um, and they know how to get it. Or they just leave you alone. They cut you out. They move on. They cut their losses in terms of you. If they feel like they're not getting the truth, this could be you, Scorpio, because the Queen of Swords is a Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius. Um, so let's see. This could be you. You want to know who's dating who? Who? Someone wants to know who you're dating. Someone is. They're not being confrontational. But they're being very precise with their words and their questioning. Um, this is also someone who's at a, the precipice of starting something new, of having a new life. They want something new, and they feel like it, if you're not right for what's new, they won't take you into the new with them. It could be you. It could be the other person. It also says get counsel before you make some decision here, okay? Somebody's being an executive, the executive of their life, in their life. Um, be very sure here also. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, what's going on for Scorpio this week? Okay. The two of wands. Somebody is at a crossroads. A decision needs to be made, okay? And, and uh, that is understood. Are you in or are you out? What lifestyle are you going to engage in? Um, the adventurous, single, fun-loving, autonomous one. Or are you going to be in a committed relationship more with traditionalism and stability? Where you have two options of, of uh, two people uh, or two roads. One is fun, adventurous, and then the other one is little, uh, stable, mundane, trustworthy. Okay? And that could be two people, two roads, two paths. It says that if you choose wrong, you could end up down a karmic spiral, cycle, needing to learn a lesson about choice. It says that you might even be looking for answers outside of yourself. It says that the answers will, um, are within you here. Listen to your intuition. It's speaking to you. It's whispering to you softly. Um, but you have to be at a place where you can hear it. Two of Wands. It says true power comes from the divine also. Okay, It doesn't come from the things here on earth and what we do. Um, and it's getting um, amassing power by way of um, collecting people, places, or things. But it comes from the divine here. All right, let's see. Some of you could be moving if you're planning. You plan what are you planning though? And what position are you planning? Uh, where are you going? All right, what's going on for Scorpio? The world. Okay, some of you are trying to take things up to the next level. Um, you're going to close out some chapter in your life and go to the next. You want something real, solid, stable. Something has you thinking. Something has you thinking about the next level. What is it? What does it look like for you? Achievement, um, fulfillment, contentment, says the world. You want to close out this cycle of maybe dating. You want to get very... Uh, you want to clue in on who you want to date because you want to change your life or change your lifestyle with the two of wands. It says that the grass is always greener with the two of wands. This, the grass is greener where you water it. So, 
to some of you, this is um, you or this is um, someone you're dealing with. They, they're really on the brink of changing everything about themselves and their life and their lifestyle. Some of you, it could just be a move also here. Some of you have been traveling or you travel, you travel the world and you've seen it all, you've done something, and now you're at a place of wanting to go to the next level. Um, what's the advice for Scorpio this week? And okay. The Eight of Cups, it says go on that journey, that search, that, search, that soul searching journey. Some of you are dissatisfied, discontent, bored even with what you created for yourself in those eight cups to where you are. You just want to finish up and move on. Move on to the unknown. This is a, a journey into the unknown. But you know that those other two cups that will give you the ten cups is somewhere else. It is not uh, in what you've been doing. So it's like you want to walk away from all that you have been putting your energy, effort, time, love into. Um, so you're going to go on that soul-searching journey here. Or you, you're just going to go find out what satisfies your soul here. You're no longer looking at the the surface-based situations or sexual in nature or carnal in nature or worldly things. It's like you, you want something that feeds your soul or you want someone that feeds your soul with the eight of cups. So you're, you're on that journey here. It says that you will find it because you, you know what you're looking for, okay? You know that you're looking for fulfillment. All right. Some of you want to be husbands or wives here. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. Some of you want happiness. You want true happiness. You know, that comes from um, having contentment, fulfillment, and something to be happy for. You're not happy for what you found in those eight cups here. So you want to find um, your true happiness, the highest level of happiness, which could be um, family, a family that you create the opportunity to create family because the Ten of Cups says the stage is set for the highest level of happiness. So it's like you want to get to that place where you can actually create here. Um, you can redefine and, and restructure your own self-identity. All right, let me leave you with a monology card. Scorpio, or this is what somebody around you wants to do. Communication is key, new moon and Gemini. Okay, so you might be in a talkative space right now. Um, you're talking a lot. You're also looking at um, unspoken communication. Um, you, uh, hang on one second. I'm going to get to it. Yeah, um, it's time to tell somebody how you feel. Um, don't be all up in your head and not in your heart. Someone is flirting with you. You need to read more books. Write a list of all the people you love most and see if you're prioritizing them. Okay. Um, you're communicating at an all-time high and socializing. And you see that with the Three of Cups. Um, you could be gossipy and flirtatious right now. There's a lot of emails and text messages and other forms of communication coming into you. Uh, if an issue concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming, and we see that with the Three of Cups. Um, this card could also suggest you being too frivolous lately, and you need to get grounded again. And we see that with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands with the world. Very nice. But most importantly, this card just asks you to um, communicate. It emphasizes communication, okay, with the people most important in your life. What are you trying to communicate? What are you not communicating? So this is your reading, Scorpio. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text the question to the number below. You can also dial into the channel if you feel the move to do so by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.